Do you know that cars have an actual speed limit? Imagine you are running on the road and the wind blows to your face. While you run faster, the wind against you also grows stronger. Electric vehicles have a similar issue. When the motor spins, it will generate a negative voltage that prevents itself from spinning faster. And the motor follows the same road as you are running on the road. If the motor spins faster, the negative voltage against it also grows stronger. Hi, my name is Bruce, and my research is to increase the speed of a car by reducing this negative voltage and control the speed of a car as accurately as possible. As you already heard, it is the negative voltage that prevents the car from going faster. So the reduction of this negative voltage will definitely expand the speed limit. This reduction process is what we call flux weakening. But the flux weakening process contains an unavoidable problem, more with the power. In general, there are at least two modes of operations in electric vehicles. The ordinary mode, which maximizes the power consumption, but limits the speed range, and the flux weakening mode that sacrifices an amount of power in exchange for higher speed. Think about a car that only has flux braking mode. This specific car will have to consume more energy to travel the same distance when comparing with the two mode cars. So to optimize our design as an engineer, we need to install both modes and be able to switch them quickly, smoothly, according to the user's command. Besides, the accuracy of the control is also an extremely important topic, and different flux weakening approaches will have advantages from different perspectives. Hi, my name is Bruce, and my research topic is to help, help you drive quickly, steeply, and economically. Thank you very much.